How we doing there boys and girls, Mantis here and welcome back to another video. So, most of us are powering through Dragonfly, I hope you're having a lot of fun, I'm having an absolute blast with it. And the professions are really kind of quite cool. You get to a degree though where you hit a bit of a brick wall with your professions and it's because of knowledge points, right? If you've been leveling up and you've been doing your first time crafts and you've been spending some points in your spec tree, uh, you very quickly come to the point where you just want more of the damn things. You just want more. First time crafts will only get you so far. Weekly quests will only get you so far. Um, you want more of them. You want to be able to spend more because you see the benefits of unlocking more of these spec trees. Now, on the beta, we got quite a good opportunity to try and work out where all these sources were from. And one that stood out from the mix were these Dragon Shards of Knowledge. We spoke about them a couple of days ago. I did a video on these things trying to highlight exactly what the situation was with them. Uh, how you can unlock them f uh, first and foremost. If you haven't seen that video, please make sure to go check it out. Max knowledge equals max gold. How to unlock the bonus profession knowledge. This is going to be crucial, not just for your main character, but for all of your alts. So make sure you get that done first. But once you have the ability to find these things, then the real fun begins. The real fun is like, okay, well, how do I get my hands on them? Where do I get them from? I mentioned in that video that they're a little bit like the Legion legendaries. For any of you that played uh, at the start of Legion seemingly many years ago it feels now, but the way that the legendary drop acquisition was back then was that any time you just did a thing in the game, there was a chance for you to get one. And it's very similar now. So, how do we get a bunch of these? Time to sort of uh, explain the thumbnail and title just a little bit then. Well, the way we're going to do this is we're going to do this with the Dragon Scale Expedition. Dragon Scale Expedition are one of the four major factions. And these guys are responsible for a whole bunch of patterns, for a whole bunch of the different professions. Tailors love them. Uh, enchanters are going to have some uh, items. Jewel crafters. If you're a jewel crafter, you're going to be wanting to pay big attention to the Dragon Scale Expedition. Engineers as well. Even scribes. A lot of the big crafting professions love the Dragon Scale Expedition. So there's a wombo combo here. Uh, you can kind of kill two birds with one stone. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be running around and we're going to be treasure hunting. We're going to try and find as many treasures as we possibly can. And by doing such, you could possibly eventually do this level of silliness. Uh, this is a post by, what's his name? Jono is best. Um, this guy has gone a little bit crazy with the treasure finding. In a matter of three days, he's been able to max the Dragon Scale Expedition by treasure hunting. And along with that has been able to gather 40 Dragon Shards of Knowledge. Uh, we can scroll through the comments here a little bit here. And he actually goes and mentions, somebody asks him, how many Dragon Shards did you get? And he replies with somewhere around 40-ish for the whole farm. 40 bonus Dragon 40 bonus dragon shards of knowledge is going to be critical if you really want to keep ahead of the competition on your server when it comes to the crafting professions. A bonus, imagine what you could do with a bonus 40 skill right now. I bet there's quite a few of you out there that haven't even got 40 skill points unlocked full stop. Never mind, a bonus 40. So, how do we go about doing this then? What was it that was being done? How do how could you go out there and do exactly this? Now, I've done videos on the Dragon Scale Expedition before, but I'll give you a quick refresh of exactly how this works. The first thing you're going to need is at least a little bit of reputation with the Dragon Scale Expedition. Um, I'm Renown 7 currently, but you can start this process from Renown 2. Renown 2 gives you the Expedition Scout Packs. You've probably come across a bunch of these already. You can pick up the scout packs and they usually have, <clears throat> excuse me, they usually have like an artifact token in. You can turn that artifact token in for reputation. There's a very, very small chance, there's an extremely small chance with these that you can get the dragon shards from them. But that's not what we're focusing on. What we're really focusing on is getting to renown five with these guys where you unlock the buried treasures. This is your ticket to success. If you fly around the map and you pick up these buried treasures, uh, these have got a good chance of giving you a dragon shard of knowledge. And obviously, as time goes on, you gather more treasures, you gather more knowledge points. Uh, and like I said, to the point where you could potentially get 40 bonus ones in as little as three days. A lot of hard work for three days, mind. I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not trying to distract you by the fact that this is an easy way of getting 40 knowledge points. 
but it's possible. And I think it's quite cool, and there's a few ways that you can you can uh, speed this process up even more. So first and foremost, you're going to need to come to the Dragon Scale base camp uh, to the southern part of the of the uh, the Waking Shores. You're going to want to speak to this dude, Pathfinder Jeb. Um, he will sell you a bunch of things, and once you uh, have hit Renown five. You can buy these things, small, small expedition shovels. Now, these are going to cost you 15 Dragon Isle supplies each. My recommendation, actually, don't spend your Dragon Isles points on these. Head to, the, head to the auction house if you can. You can buy these on the auction house. People can trade these on the auction house, and I was able to pick them up for about 50 gold a few days ago. I think people are gathering treasures, though. They're a little bit more expensive right now. Also, blacksmiths can make one. Blacksmiths can unlock a recipe to make a shovel that instead of having only five charges, the blacksmithing shovel has 20 charges. So it's going to last you a little bit longer, take up less storage space in your bag. So you can see I always try and keep a stack, like probably 10 of these. Usually I try and keep in my bags at an absolute bare minimum, just so when I'm flying around, even if I'm doing nothing more than world quests, I can see a dirt pile, I can go dig it, and I can keep my fingers crossed for that dragon shard of knowledge. Um, there is one extra thing you can do. It's going to make the process a little bit easier. Um, you can unlock uh, this little, uh, what's it called? Uh, expedition supplies. You can spend some of your Dragon Isle points unlocking these. One you want to get is the Anomaly Detection Spell Framework. This gives you a cool little uh, one, uh, button you can press. It only lasts a minute, but uh, it does this. It turns your screen grey. And what it does is it allows you to see through the terrain and you can spot any treasures. Now, if we go zoom, zoom in about, hopefully we can find one relatively quickly with this on. Now, this is a buff that only lasts for a minute and is on a 10 minute cooldown. Uh, but it should help you find these treasures. The likelihood is, is that when this kind of, when, when word of this gets out, there's a very strong likelihood that everybody will be trying to do this. I did suspect that getting these treasures would be a key way for people to uh, both level up their renown and also get some of these dragon shards of knowledge. In true fashion, I can't find any now, can I? People are obviously doing this. It is Saturday afternoon when I'm recording this, to be fair. Uh, here we go. What's this? Oh, it's an expedition scout pack. Not exactly what we were looking for, but close enough either way. So you fly around, you pick up these dirt piles, and uh, hopefully with enough time thrown at it, you win. Uh, a little add-on to go with this, I'd suggest, is Rare Scanner. Rare Scanner is going to put a little icon on the map every time you find one, and as you fly around, it might give you an alert saying, Oi, there's a dirt pile nearby. Uh, pick it up and hopefully win. But there we go, boys and girls. So on your travels, get yourself some extra knowledge points. Use those knowledge points wisely, and uh, I hope you'll be able to take a little bit of an advantage of this. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give the video a like. Consider subscribing if you're new around here. We've got loads of content coming out at the, uh, in the next few weeks about everything gold making and everything Dragonflight. So stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, I've been Mathis, boys and girls. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Peace.